we're here at the iconic Joe's Kansas City gas station location. I just filled up on pump two. There's no line outside, so you know what that means. Let's eat. We sat down with Joe's director of marketing, Doug Wargle, to learn more about the history of this iconic Kansas City barbecue spot. Jeff and Joyce Staney are our owners, and in the early 1990s, they started cooking barbecue competitively. Jeff went to a contest with a friend of his and just kind of fell in love with the camaraderie, the cooking, and especially the competition. And at the time, they were using a Oklahoma Joe's competition cooker. And one of these contests that they were at, a tall, friendly guy came up to them and said, hey, how do you like that cooker? And they said, we love this cooker. We're winning contests with it. He said, I, I'm Joe Davidson. I made that cooker. His nickname was Oklahoma Joe. Ten months later, they opened this place right here in this gas station. All good barbecue, I think, depends on the quality and consistency of the seasoning you use. The rub the heat formulated interacts perfectly with the Missouri White Oak. Three years ago, we decided that it was time that we embraced our Kansas City heritage. So we changed our name to Joe's Kansas City Barbecue. We want people to know that we're a part of Kansas City Barbecue history. World famous isn't just a gimmick. Joe's Kansas City attracts visitors from across the globe, from A-list actors to rock idols, World Series MVPs, and even catching the eye of the renowned food critic, Anthony Bourdain. We especially love Bourdain because in 2009, in a magazine called Men's Health, he named us as one of 13 places to eat before you die. The magazine editors said, would you write an article on 12 places to eat before you die? And he said, nope, not unless you let me include a 13th. And we were the 13th he included. Every restaurant has that signature meal, and Joe's legendary Z-Man is at the top of the list when it comes to barbecue sandwiches. Sauce on the bottom of the bun. We're going sliced brisket, melted cheese, a couple of crispy onion rings on top. Sauce that bad boy up, shingle the bun, it's ready to serve. Barbecue is a legit reason for tourists to come to Kansas City. You know, California has its wine. We don't have wine. We've got barbecue. All right, we've done the interview, we've done the tour, we've seen how they make the brisket, smoke the ribs, now it's time to eat. This is amazing. Like, I'm just going to say that. This is an amazing sandwich. The meat's incredible, the cheese, the crispiness of the onion ring. You wash it down with some of these tasty fries. This is a great idea, Charlie Hustle. Anytime you got more food tours you want me to go on, I'm your man. I got a pickle for dessert though. When you guys want a pickle? I'm not here giving out pickles for desserts. I'd love to stay and continue to chat with you. It's been a lot of fun, but I gotta eat.